The Low Strike Duo, or LXD for short, is a compact dual low-pass gate. Each channel has its own response type. The top channel is 12 decibels per octave and mildly resonant. Meanwhile, the bottom channel is 6 decibels per octave and non-resonant. Because it is a vectoral based circuit, there is also some variation from unit to unit. However, typically the top channel will be faster and more aggressive than the bottom channel. Each channel has a signal input, a control input, a strike input, and an output. Here is a sequence using the square wave from the DPO with a maths channel opening the control input and a trigger sequence to the strike input for percussive animation. Here is exactly the same thing patched to the bottom channel for a different feel and sound. The top channel's output is normal to the bottom channel's input. This puts the two channels in series similar to the VCF into VCA arrangement made popular by many mono synths of the 1970s and 80s. Here's the same sequence, with the same striking as before on the bottom channel, but the top channel being swept periodically at a slower rate by a math cycle. Since there is nothing patched to the channel 2 input, channel 1's output is routed directly through channel 2. And let's try reversing the modulation sources, striking the top channel and CVing the bottom channel. With four modulation inputs, you could come up with any number of ways to combine modulation sources for sound animation. The LXD is also direct coupled and can process control voltage. Channel 1 also works nicely for mildly resonant filter sweeps, which you could voltage control or sweep manually by patching an offset to the control input. The LXD is designed to complement the existing make noise low pass gates, Optimix and Rixmix. Unlike the LXD, these modules are chainable mixers with attenuation on board, and so in some ways they're more flexible than the LXD. For this reason, the LXD pairs well with Maths, which provides attenuation on all channels. It could also be patched in series, as demonstrated here, and then chained to the aux input of an Optimix, Modimix, or Rixmix for several modulation flavors in a single patch. For more information, visit MakeNoiseMusic.com.